Consensus wide receiver four, C.D. Lamb. C.D. Lamb had probably the one of the quietest 100 catch seasons with 107 last year, almost 1,400 receiving yards, finished as wide receiver seven. He was seventh in targets per route run rate and sixth in yards per route run as he broke out finally as that elite wide receiver one. Um, I think he's poised for another wide receiver one campaign, even with McCarthy calling the plays instead of Kellen Moore this season. The Dallas playoff schedule at Buffalo, which could suck. Could Uh, be awful. Yeah. At Miami. Gotta love the weather. That's going to be a track meet. And home against Detroit. Dome. Love it. Oof. So I, that's 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 real tasty. If you can escape through that first uh, first potential snow game, yeah, right. What are your thoughts on CD Lamb? Uh, fourth in targets last year for CD Lamb in the NFL with one fifty six. Fourth in catches with one oh seven. Jason mentioned the yards; he was sixth, uh, tied for fourth with nine touchdowns. Uh, eighth in points per game. Uh, previously mentioned at the beginning of the pod, the Cowboys threw the nineteenth most passes. I would expect that to go up uh, with Zeke leaving and Pollard taking over the bell cow role. If that goes up at all. And they're going to target Lamb as much as they did with Dalton Schultz leaving. Yes, they do add Brandon Cooks to the mix. I mean, it's almost a top five target lock, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, and honestly, I don't even I don't even get nervous about the Brandon Cooks ad because to me, no. that just gives like defenses something else to maybe be concerned about, so they aren't just double or triple covering CD Lamb every single play, right? So I I think you're getting really good value on Lamb, too. Uh, Fancy Pros has him at six. Again, we have him at four. His ADP is pick 13. Um, So you can get him uh, on the backside of the turn in a 12-teamer, which I like it a lot. (laughs) I like (laughs) Like, that a lot as well. Yeah. So, like, you can lock in a, a top five target guy on a, you know, with a quarterback that's willing to take risks uh with with Dak and and throw those picks like I'm cool with that and and kind of let him explode again this year uh you know six uh in half PPR scoring last year overall uh eighth in points per game like there's just consistency there um I I can't see him being being outside the top 10 uh with, with all those targets that he should have this year 